Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Aries. This is Aries Atelier, the bag making channel. So today I'm actually doing sort of like um, a reflective post because if you have noticed, I have been absent for like a month. And before I even go on, first of all, thanks to everyone that actually reached out to me. <laughs> People that were actually concerned in my absence. I mean, I was surprised like oh you guys actually care but so Pretty much what was going on with me is I had a creative block and this is something that People have to deal with a lot Okay, I would like to believe that I am pretty much over it even though I still feel a little mentally stressed I think that's the way to say it but I don't feel as bad as I did two weeks ago or three weeks ago and the only thing I'm grateful for is actually my staff so the whole period I was just off the grid or MIA rather they were able to sort of like keep the whole thing going on in my absence and I am really grateful for you girls you guys really stepped up this period I don't know there was just so much going on with me personally and it sort of reflected like everywhere so these are actually four things i did that helped me get over my creative block i had to slow down that was the first thing i did when i noticed that i wasn't being as productive as i normally used to be because i remember i was even like already starting like an online course i was already doing my research putting up the curriculum and everything then everything just crashed and I had to slow down. I was doing too much at that time. So that was the first thing that sort of helped alleviate the, the mental exhaustion. It was slowing down. So I slowed down. I tried to still sort of push through it, but at a slower pace. But that didn't really like stop it. It just sort of helped me like take a few steps back and take it easy so instead of like working like long hours staying up late editing videos or going to the studio to do to do so much so basically i had two full-time jobs in the morning i'll go to work that's my main studio i hang around there do as much work as i can do then i come back home and I'm either filming or I'm editing videos. So that was just too much at the time. And this is just like my bag related business because I'm trying to do other things too. So everything just sort of came crashing down and that wasn't good at all. Okay, the second thing I did, I mean, even though it was out of worry and just concern for my personal well-being, is I got extra prayerful. I mean there were just moments i would take time off i would pray i would meditate i mean at some point i was like ah Abia, my village people finally seen me <laughs> but that wasn't it i think i just needed time to just like clear my head to meditate when i could i prayed i got really spiritual and that sort of that also helped because i think on a spiritual level i needed that assurance that okay aries are you doing too much are you even going in the right direction like i mean if we're really being honest i not technically i am a lawyer but i sort of just left that thing and anybody that sort of practices anything apart from what they actually studied in school we always have that thing that like inner guilt is like you studied the course for like so many years and you're not even using it for anything instead you just abandoned it and you sort of just moved on to something else so there was also that point i just needed that like reassurance that I'm not doing too much i'm not going in the wrong direction i am not sort of like deviating from my personal mission or my goals so that was the second thing i did so after that i decided to just stop i took a week i took a whole week i mean that was okay that was the third thing i did i took a whole week at first i think like the first two days i remember feeling guilty like i was like oh my god Aries, you're not doing anything i think i even started filming like a tutorial that period but i just stopped because even tutorial i was making it wasn't really like anything wow it was just vanilla like it was just basic you could tell that i was just trying to keep up with my own schedule i wasn't creating anything new so i just took a week off no work i remember that time i don't i don't think i even came into like this space i was just like in the living room i had like my corner so i took a whole week off to just sort of 
stop because even though I was like slowing down I was trying to push through I was still trying to like force myself to be productive so I took a week off and that was like the second best thing that I did because then I just realized that okay the one thing that would make me just okay now was a total clean out like I just did like a whole thing I just opened like my storage cabinets I threw out anything I wasn't using anything that just was taking space that I did not need I guess I needed to like physically do that because in my head it was like I opened my brain and I was just removing information that I did not need so that I can focus on things that are really necessary so I just opened my storage cabinets and any old material that I know that I'm just keeping maybe like scraps of leather that I know I would not use but I'm sort of just holding on to it like oh, in case maybe I have that but I just went and I threw everything out so all those like empty boxes I think like my like my camera my phone you know we have this habit of always keeping the boxes I threw everything out like there was so much trash that I was just keeping in this space I mean it's already a small room already so one thing i did not need was more junk so i threw everything out i cleared out all my drawers all scraps of paper i swept everything and when i finished with like two bags of trash and i'm like this represents my mind and i am literally packing out all the unwanted things all the things that i've just been holding on to that i know i can't do anything about so i just threw it out i just went in and i unclogged that was what it felt like just cleaning out my studio felt like unclogging i don't know are you dealing with the same issue is there something else that can be done to sort of make it a what's the word like a less tedious process you can actually go to the comment section and let's actually discuss it because this is something that people just go through alone a few people come out and speak about it because there's so much going on in our minds and our personal lives and all that affects our work so let's talk about this in the comment section hopefully like this now i think i'm mentally ready to go back to making tutorials and just getting back to work generally i don't know if this post helped i don't know if either of these four tips helped a quick run through is i, I was super prayerful i slowed down then when i saw that i wasn't working then i stopped it mustn't be like a whole week it could be like a day or two or basically just go out to like a neutral space something that is not relating to work so you can just go and recalibrate and then the last one i did was a total clean out of all the junk all the useless things all the unwanted things all the things that literally felt like a like a physical burden i cleaned everything out i threw them out and i suddenly feel a little lighter like as if i did a detox of my body that's how it felt it was that representative and it felt like i literally did a clog in my mind so i don't know meet me in the comment section let's talk about this because i've never had a burnout this bad that i have to even make a vlog about it like it was a scary it was a scary one month for me so thanks for watching this video hopefully i can put out as much content as i want now that i feel a lot better but just let me know what you're dealing with we can talk about it if you have tips that can even help me please share share with everybody so that we can sort of work through this thing together and we can be more productive don't forget to like and subscribe guys i love you so much thank you for your support thank you for everybody that actually reached out to me during my one month of silence or absence to check on me to see if i was actually okay thank you so much i love you guys i love you love you love you hopefully we can do so much more together and make this our creative journey a lot less tedious all right i will see you in my next post